Hey everybody, it's Chris Bullock from The Strength and Conditioning. Today we're going to be talking about one of the exercises in our in our lunge and split squat progression. Uh, this exercise we typically use is kind of a troubleshoot for somebody who has a problem relaxing the backside hip into a lunge. So if you see somebody and we're lunging or if you have a problem with this, we're lunging and you step out and you're really reluctant to let go of that back hip where it's kind of staying in flexion and you really feel that backside quad staying engaged really hard as you do your lunges, it doesn't feel right. Sometimes it messes with the mechanics at the knee and the ankle as well. This exercise is, is meant to help improve that, that particular problem. So we call this a band resisted forward lunge or split squat. Okay, so we'll take a look at both versions of that. When we set this up, we're gonna take this band. You can use, you can use a harness, you can use, uh, I've seen people use a weight belt for it, just something to hook the cable to. And you don't need a ton of pressure here. Um, you know, 15, 20 pounds, something like that for somebody that's roughly my size works pretty well. Um, so we start off and in our split squat progression, we're gonna start from the bottom. So we're gonna create our negative space, that perfect square in the negative space right there. And then we're gonna make sure we're pushing through the heel and make sure we have a nice neutral spine and the band isn't pulling us forward into extension. So we start here, nice and neutral, perfect square right there. And then I like to throw in the arms in terms of look, making it look like you're running or, or a locomotion pattern, just because it gives people rhythm and helps them feel what they're supposed to feel in the exercise. So we go from here and we're gonna drive through that heel and you come back down and as that band pulls us forward, it loads us into that front leg a little bit more and helps calm down that backside quad. So we start here, lower touch, lower touch. And then if we wanna progress that exercise after we feel really good about the straight up, straight down, we can turn it into that forward lunge where we step back just a little bit. And we're gonna be taking that big lunge step forward, back up to neutral, lunge, back up to neutral.